Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so today, I, a cigarette smoker, am going to be using nasal snuff for the first time. I've never used nasal snuff before, and it's something that I've wanted to use for just about the last year. Although I will admit I, I also haven't really been looking for it very hard. Could have definitely been looking for it a little bit harder. Uh, but I saw it about two weeks ago when I visited the... I saw it on the shelf about two weeks ago when I visited the Tobacco and Salt Museum in Tokyo, Japan. I'm still in Japan, but right now I'm in Kyoto. And I'm staying at an Airbnb uh, that doesn't let you smoke inside. That's perfectly fine. Uh, but they also don't let you smoke on the balcony. Hey, it's whatever. I can just smoke on the street, right? No, no, I can't smoke on the street because Kyoto is like super intense about their no smoking on the street laws, even if you're sitting on private property kind of thing. Um, and either way, the place I'm staying at doesn't want me smoking on their private property. Uh, so I have to walk about 10 minutes down the road to get to a public smoking area if I want to have a smoke, just whenever kind of thing, which is a whole process of in itself. And I'm honestly just a little bit too lazy to do that. Don't get me wrong. It's totally worth it to have a cigarette but it is a process and it's a process I don't feel like doing like every hour kind of thing. So I need an alternative and that's what I want this to be. I also do have some snuff, some, some snus and I also do, I almost said snuff. I also do have some snus and I also have some nicotine gum, but it just ain't hitting the way I want. I ain't gonna lie y'all. And I am hoping that this stuff is gonna hit the way I want because I have heard that it gives you an extremely large buzz the first couple times you use it. So I'm definitely looking forward to that buzz. Uh, what I'm not looking forward to, though, is the nose irritation that I've heard comes along with using snuff for the first couple times. I've heard your nose gets very irritated very easily. So we'll see how everything goes kind of thing. But is there anything else I wanted to say? Definitely expecting to get a really big buzz. Definitely expecting my nose to hurt a little bit. Like I just tried snorting salt or something like that kind of thing. That is for sure. And is there anything else I want to say? I think I said that I, that I bought this at the Tobacco and Salt Museum in Tokyo. Um, what else? What else was I going to say? I think this was like 350 yen, something like that. Maybe 400 yen. Either way, not a bad price kind of thing. Not a bad price. I don't know how much snuff usually goes for. I don't know anything about this brand. I looked up this brand before this video. I have no clue what this is in all honesty. Uh, what I do know this is, is it says uh, in kanji right here that this is menthol snuff. Uh, so it's not like tobacco flavored snuff or anything, or I guess tobacco scented snuff, I guess is the right way of putting it. Um, this is menthol snuff. Apparently I have no clue about anything about snuff. I've never used it before never researched it. I have no clue what I'm getting myself into in all honesty, besides the fact that I've heard it's probably going to give me a pretty big buzz and that I've heard that it's probably going to make my nose a little bit, a little bit in pain. I ain't gonna lie y'all. I did though, before starting the video, before starting recording and everything like that, look up how to use, well, snuff. I figured that's probably a good idea. And apparently there's a couple different methods. One of the methods is illustrated on the back of the packaging right here and everything like that. I also saw another method where you take a pinch. I think I'm gonna try taking a pinch and just, just like that kind of thing and then just squeezing my nose like that. I think that's what I'm gonna try to do. I have no clue if that's the right way to use snuff. I don't care in all honesty. I'm just trying to use snuff in today's video. I don't care if I use it the right way because that's what practice is for, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but without further ado, let's go ahead and get this box all opened up. Uh, lecture price. Thank you very much for making this uh, snuff. I ain't gonna lie. I do appreciate it. I've seen this stuff for sale at a couple other shops in uh, Japan as well. So it must sell a little bit. I, I ain't gonna lie. I've, I've never seen snuff really for sale at all uh, in the United States, but I've seen it for sale here actually uh, at more shops than I would have expected. I ain't gonna lie y'all. Uh, so it was a little bit surprising, I ain't gonna lie. It was a little bit surprising, I ain't gonna lie. But, I mean, like, hey, I ain't got no complaints on my behalf about that. I like having my uh, little nicotine experiments and everything like that kind of thing. So I certainly ain't got no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Uh, so this is what came out of this box right here. Um, oh, wow, you can smell that. You can smell that menthol. How am I supposed to use this? 
Am I supposed to peel this up or something? I think I'm supposed to peel this. Oh, am I supposed to? Ah, I'm supposed to peel that off. Okay. I get what I'm supposed to do. I think. I think I'm supposed to take this off. I I can't read any of this. It just says Glector Price right there. It has their little logo right there. And a very, oh, I like that. I like that sheen they got. Oh, wow. Y'all can see me in the sheen on the plastic. Wow. And then it just says menthol, mitt, Columbia all. And then it has all of the other warnings in, in German. <laughs> not, in, not in Japanese like on the box. They just, this is the German stuff, except uh, they just put it in the Japanese box. Amusing. Um, how do I get this stuff out? I assume I get rid of this. And then I guess I probably, ah, that's what you're supposed to do. Okay. Oh, okay. So yeah, so basically what you're, oh, wait, can I literally just inhale through there? Oh wait, I can, can't I? Is that what you're supposed to do? Or are you supposed to guess, how am I supposed to get this stuff out? Am I supposed to use like a Coke spoon or something? I don't, I don't do Coke. I don't have a Coke spoon. <laughs> Especially not in Japan. That stuff gets you incarcerated for like, whew, an insane amount of time. How do I get some of this stuff out? Uh, oh, oh, it just falls out like that. Okay, well, there we go. Now I have some in my hand. Now let's go ahead, I guess. No, that doesn't have any holes in the bottom or anything like that. I thought it did, because I was like, well, then I can just do it like that kind of thing. But no, you can't. I'm going to go ahead and take my little pinch right here and everything like that kind of thing. And I'm going to go ahead and try to get the rest of the stuff that's in my hand on there as well. There we go. And now I'm going to go ahead and try to use, I've got a rag right here that I'm going to use to um, get some of the stuff off my hand just so I have a hand that I can use freely and everything like that. But I now have a pinch in my hand. I don't know if this is too much. I don't know if this is too little. Apparently I'm supposed to inhale uh, very lightly. I'm a little bit out of it right now. So I hope that this buzz is going to kick and I hope that it's going to make me feel super good right now and everything like that kind of thing. But I guess without further ado, I should probably inhale some into my nose go ahead just go like that and then just wait and see what happens i don't know how long this stuff takes to kick in i have no clue i do know i'm not supposed to inhale too sharply i'm supposed to inhale lightly uh, so let's go ahead and give it a go and i feel like i gotta burp real quick excuse me Oh, I can feel that in my nose, especially in this nostril. Oh, wow. It's like snus on the inside of your mouth burning. That's what it feels like in my nose, though. Oh, it's both nostrils now because I inhaled a little bit more. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. Oh, man. And I'm just going to try to put the rest of this back in the box. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I have absolutely no clue. But let's just go ahead and put the rest of that try to put the rest of it back in the box just so I don't get it all over the place and everything like that. I do have my little rag right here and I'm just gonna wipe my hands on and everything like that kind of thing. Uh, but right off the bat, getting a very menthol-y smell in my nose. No menthol taste, of course, because I, I'm not eating the snuff, uh, but very much a menthol smell in my nose. And I don't know if it's placebo, I don't know how fast this stuff is supposed to kick in. But right off the bat, I'm feeling like I, I'm buzzed without doing anything. Like, no joke. That's what I'm feeling right now. I'm feeling like I'm buzzed without doing anything. I don't feel like I did anything. Like, not at all. I don't feel like I did anything. I just inhaled and now all, I'm, all of a sudden I'm buzzed. My nose kind of thing. My nose is like a little bit now stocked up and everything like that kind of thing. And I imagine that if I decided to go through my nose later, there would be, well, snuff in my nose and everything like that. So I assume I should probably clean out my nose later to get rid of the stuff. I don't know if it just sits there. I don't know if you're supposed to pick your nose after you use snuff. I have no clue in all honesty. Uh, but what I do know is that right now I'm feeling pretty good. It's definitely not a cigarette buzz though. It's definitely not a cigarette buzz. I'd have to say it's more like, it is it is similar to a cigarette buzz. And I, I still don't know whether this is placebo or whether this is actually the snuff kicking in all honesty. I really do have no clue whether this is just placebo or just the snuff kicking in all honesty. Uh, but either way, I mean, like it's fantastic kind of thing. The buzz I'm feeling right now, I definitely have to say, is very, very, very much a... It is, 
It's a head buzz, I'd say? Yeah, I think it's a head buzz. Hmm. That's how, that's how I know I'm pretty decently buzzed right now. Um, I just don't feel like I'm pretty decently buzzed because this is a completely different buzz than what I'm used to. Um, I'm glad I didn't, I'm glad I didn't snort anymore or anything like that kind of thing because let me tell y'all what, I would probably be on my ass right now if I did because I'm feeling, I'm already feeling pretty toasty right now, I ain't gonna lie. But the buzz I'm feeling right now is more like a snus buzz or a like nicotine gum buzz or a nicotine pouch buzz like an oral pouch buzz an oral snus buzz or something like that kind of thing then like let's say a cigarette buzz or a vape buzz or a cigar buzz or something like that kind of thing which makes sense uh, this is definitely closer uh, your mucous membranes are definitely closer in uh, i guess i don't know connectivity to your mouth i, I uh, closer in what's the right way of putting it the connectivity is not the right way of putting it i know that closer in just how they work i guess uh to your mouth than lungs that's for sure so it makes sense why the buzz would be different uh, but the buzz is definitely even though it is more similar to snus nicotine pouches and like nicotine gum and stuff like that that i've tried previously um excuse me wow um even though it is more similar to that stuff than a cigarette buzz in my opinion i definitely have to say that it is actually kind of similar to a cigarette buzz as well because i'd say huh maybe it's just me feeling really buzzed right now because i'm feeling pretty buzzed right now i ain't gonna lie i'm feeling pretty good right now i ain't gonna lie i really and it's just it just keeps getting better it just keeps getting better i ain't gonna lie it some good stuff. This is some good stuff, I ain't gonna lie. I, it really, it really is. Wow, I'm actually impressed right now. I wasn't sure if I was, actually, I kinda like this. This is not bad. I, uh, I might honestly prefer using this over uh, using, uh, what, what is it, nicotine gum on the plane and stuff like that kind of thing. I, I think I might have to use this on the plane ride back to the US from Japan in all honesty, because this stuff, not bad at all, not bad at all if I do say something. I'm definitely gonna get a Ziploc bag though for this, because I'm not having this spill all over my backpack. No way in hell. Um, but, but, either way, it's still really, 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 yeah, it's, it's nice. No. The buzz is really good. Is it a cigarette replacement? No. It's not a cigarette replacement. Nothing can replace my cigarettes. I love my cigarettes. Nothing can replace them. And snuff is not a replacement for cigarettes for me. Uh, but it is something interesting to use when I can't have a cigarette or when I don't feel like going and walking 10 minutes to the local public smoking area to have a cigarette. Let me put it that way. But I still feel like I haven't really described the buzz well enough. And I want to go ahead and continue describing the buzz. The buzz keeps getting a little bit heavier. And I'd say, I'd say, okay, I think the right way of describing the buzz is that it's kind of like a combination between snus. Like for me, in my opinion, snus has a very calming body and head buzz. That's what I'd say. I think it has a very calming body and head buzz. Whereas this, on the other hand, is a, has, has a body buzz, don't get me wrong, like snus, but has a much heavier head buzz. Like, my head buzz right now is fantastic, and the head buzz is almost to the extent of a cigarette head buzz. And so I'd honestly say that the buzz from snuff is very much a, of course, body head buzz, very nice, strong body head buzz, a very calming, if I do say so myself, a definitely less energetic um, then I'd say, uh, depending on how intense your, your cigarette buzz is kind of thing, definitely can be, le can definitely be less energetic and more calming than a cigarette buzz, but it, it's probably just because, in all honesty, this is my first time ever using this stuff, um, smoking a cigarette, I've been doing it for a long time kind of thing, not every single cigarette is calming to me anymore, um, it's my first time ever using this. Of course, I'm going to be getting a super fat buzz. Of course, I'm going to feel super chill, super calm. Uh, so that might just be an effect of me using it for the first time. In all honesty, I would not be surprised at all. Um, but either way, feeling very chill right now. Um, 
and I honestly kind of feel like this is cheating. <laughs> I honestly kind of feel like this is cheating. I've put like no effort into getting this buzz and I've got a pretty good buzz right now. And I, that, that was it. That was, that was it. That's, that's all I did. I just sniff, sniff, close my, that's all I did. That is, that's all I did. <laughs> that's all I did. There's no effort. There's no effort required at all. And I've got a fucking huge buzz right now. Huge buzz right now. I'm feeling good, y'all. I'm feeling good. Uh, do I want any more? I kind of do. I kind of do want some more. I ain't gonna lie. I am very tempted to have some more. Uh, but I was also thinking about going out and having a beer in like the next 30 minutes and walking down to the public smoking zone and, and, and having a smoke as I, as I drink my beer. Mm, I am considering it. Mm. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it, in all honesty. No, this stuff, though, honestly, not bad at all. Genuinely. I think I've given you guys a good enough descriptor of what I think the buzz is like. As said, it's very much a very chill head buzz, mainly head buzz, but with a body buzz in there as well. And I'd say it's very chill, very intense head buzz. Um, and yeah, it just kind of wants to make you sit down and chill and everything like that kind of thing like but i'm also feeling kind of energetic as well like it's honestly oh man you know what it's honestly kind of similar to doka i ain't gonna lie y'all kind of similar. like doka is very calming yet energetic at the same time and that's how this is i definitely have to say snus for me is more calming than anything cigarettes for me are more energetic yet calming at the same time but different in a different way in a different way from snuff um they're calming, they're energetic, depends on the cigarette, um, it depends on how much I smoke as well. If I'm chain smoking, it's very calming. If I just have one cigarette really quickly, it's very energetic. Um, it all depends on how I smoke and how much nicotine I get and everything like that kind of thing. Um, but, and I'm sure y'all can tell that I'm pretty buzzed right now because I'm, I'm kind of trying to think through my words a little bit more than I usually do, that is for sure. But, you know, very heavy head buzz with a nice body buzz very calming yet very energetic yet still very relaxing that's how i describe the buzz in all honesty i'm gonna go and get some more though <laughs> i'm gonna get me some more how am i supposed to get this stuff off i have no clue it's just oh i'm supposed to empty it onto like the back of my hand right like that Let's, let's go with that. Let's go with that. So let's, let's try the backhand method. Is that, is that right? Is that right? I'm going to try to grab myself a little bit of a screenshot real quick. Oh, shit. I inhaled all of that. <laughs> shit. Ah oh, man, I know this buzz is gonna be huge. Uh, I've got, a, I've still got a bunch in the back of my hand, and I didn't even get a good screen. I was trying to get a screenshot. And I was just inhaling, <laughs> like not like super hard, not super rough inhaling or anything like that kind of thing. I was just inhaling because I was just breathing in, and I was like, oh wait, I should, probably shouldn't have done. <laughs> no, oh no, I might have messed up, y'all. I might have too big of a buzz now. Oh well, uh, we're we're gonna find out how big of a buzz I just got. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly. No complaints on my behalf, though. This overall, so far, been a pretty good experience. On my nose, though, definitely starting to burn a little bit more again. Uh, but I definitely have to say, like, the inside of your mouth, and now I'm feeling very energetic. I, I think it might have just been the, oh, wow, I'm feeling really I'm feeling really good right now, y'all. Man, I don't know if it's that stuff starting to kick in. I think it's that stuff starting to kick in, though. I'm feeling really buzzed right now. Um, and I'm starting to feel really energetic, yet yeah, really calm at the same time. Like, now I want to get up and go, like, do stuff. I think the amount of snuff I used previously was probably like uh just enough to kind of get me relaxed to get me a slight buzz but now I've really got a big buzz kind of thing and I'm like really chilling uh and everything like that kind of thing I'm feeling very energetic right now I ain't gonna lie oh man oh man Whew. no complaints on my behalf no complaints on my behalf at all man oh man yeah it definitely still doesn't replace cigarettes though I I've got that buzz but Whenever I don't have a cigarette, and I, even when I'm using some other form of nicotine, 
I still have this thing in my head that's like, just feels like it's missing something kind of thing, that I, I haven't had a cigarette in a while. And it, I, I can't remember if I said this at the beginning of this video. I also just ate dinner. I literally just ate dinner like 40 minutes ago, I want to say. Didn't have a cigarette afterwards. I always have a cigarette after dinner because there's no better way to settle your stomach. And so my body's used to that, and I haven't had a cigarette. Like, at all. In, like, two hours kind of thing. And I really be needing a cigarette. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. And I've got that feeling in the back of my head, I want a cigarette kind of thing. Even using this stuff. I still want a cigarette. It ain't a replacement for me. I love my cigarettes. I love my cigarettes. I am very highly addicted to them, and I love them, that is for sure. Um, sorry, girls. My only love is, my only, my only love is cigarettes. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all are outclassed. My apologies. Um, but, but, I'm still feeling great right now. I'm still feeling great. I'm still feeling really buzzed. But this can't replace cigarettes. Of course not. But it's not bad. I still have that feeling in the back of my head where I'm kind of like, all right, yeah, I want that cigarette buzz. I want that cigarette feeling kind of thing. That's what I'm really addicted to, in all honesty. Um, but the whole feeling of this stuff is pretty good as well. It's pretty good as well. It's not really, I'm like, it's, it's filling in my lack of a cigarette buzz to an extent. Don't get me wrong. Uh, it's making me feel a little bit, I'm feeling pretty good right now, but I could still totally go for a cigarette. This, this is not really filling in for my cigarette buzz kind of thing. I still really want a cigarette, uh, but I'm definitely feeling much better than not. And I am, I will admit, I am glad I was considering going out for a cigarette before recording this video. And I am really glad I didn't because I don't think I would have had this experience if I had done that. Well, I would have had this experience still, but it wouldn't have been the same experience, let me put it that way. So I'm glad I haven't had a cigarette in the last two hours, even though I really want a cigarette right now. Man, I'm going out after this, and I'm having a beer, and I'm having a cigarette. Maybe I won't have a beer. Maybe I'll just have a cigarette. I don't know. Honestly, I think I might just have a cigarette, in all honesty. I don't know. I think I might just have a cigarette. But either way, I'm going out for a cigarette after this. Uh, but this stuff is still some gas. This stuff is still some gas. And honestly, when I'm on the plane going back to the United States, after my little trip to Japan is all done, y'all already know. Y'all already know this is what I'm going to be using on the plane. I'm getting a nice buzz without feeling like I put any effort in at all. I ain't going to lie, y'all. It really is crazy. And I was looking online as well. You can get a, uh, a, like a snuff bullet which is like a little cap thing. It's like it's like a salt and pepper shaker for your nose. You just <sighs> kind of thing. And honestly, that would be perfect for going on planes. Because I don't get me wrong, I don't mind snus. I don't mind nicotine gum at all. But I honestly kind of prefer this bus. Granted, this is also only my first time of using this. So who knows what my opinion could change in the future. But... I think I might prefer using this on the plane. I think I might prefer using this stuff on the plane when compared to snus, zim, or nic z zim, zin, or nicotine gum. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. Um, this video has been going on for 23 minutes and something seconds now, though. I've been talking a lot. I should probably go ahead and end the video. I don't really think I have too much else to say, and I really want a cigarette in all honesty. So I think I'm going to go have one. I do want to give you guys just a very light final thoughts before the end of this video, though. Uh, what are my final thoughts on this experience? Very good. Cannot replace cigarettes. Great head buzz. Great body buzz. Feeling pretty chill. Feeling pretty energetic. And feeling pretty relaxed. Those are my final thoughts on trying snuff for the first time time. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video where I, a cigarette smoker, try nasal snuff for the first time and get a pretty fat buzz if I do say so myself. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I've got my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out, you know what I'm saying? And let me know in the comments down below if this is good snuff, if this is bad snuff, let me know in the comments down below because I know nothing about snuff at all. And let me know also if I did anything wrong in this video. I figure I probably did, but hey, let me know in the comments down below, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, thank you very much for watching, y'all. To the next one, stay safe and peace and have a great one. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying?